Okay, so the first thing is let's um, load our environment. Uh, let's open Anaconda prompt. Um, so let's change our directory here. CD colon slash courses. This is my directory. If you want, you can change your directory to where you saved your um, Jupyter notebooks for this course. And the other thing is I'll list um, the environments I have by writing conda env list. So this will list the list of environments that I've already created. So in this course, I'll be using uh, Earth Engine or EE Python env. So I'll activate that environment. All right, it's activated as you can see here. Change it from base to EE Python environment. Now I can load Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook. Okay. So we'll go to a folder where I saved all of my um, script for this uh, lecture. So this is um, my Jupyter Notebook for this uh, lecture. Um, so the first uh, batch of um, you know these lines of code are pip install Earth Engine. I'm assuming that you have already installed um, the Earth Engine API. And so I'll skip this. If you're not installed so, you can activate this and I'll go ahead and import the Earth Engine um, uh, library uh, import EE here and also I'll import the Folium uh, library and also GEE Hydro which is a visualization package for Earth Engine so I'll run the cell as you can see it's running now it's done um, if it's your first time, um, you need to authenticate Earth Engine. You need to uncomment this, but if you have already done so, you, you can skip authentication and you can simply initialize. EE.initialize will initialize Earth Engine on this Jupyter Notebook environment. And then I'll execute that. All right, so the next thing is we want to create a, an interactive mapping. Um, you know dashboard here so by calling the folium package here um, so you can uh, specify the latitude and longitude for that specific study area that you want to visualize and you can also choose you know satellite or hybrid and things like that for the background so as always I would like to you know import countries database and um, select a certain country just to make sure that we have a specific study area in this case I'll use Ethiopia so I'll um, filter uh, Ethiopia from the countries database so this part of the script will import the um, Landsat imagery which is Landsat 8 collection 1 data um, two year of data 2016 and 27 uh, literally one year of data 2016 January to 2017 January and I'll filter it by my boundary and uh, I'll also run a image compositing algorithm technically this is a cloud removal algorithm built in Earth Engine built in for Landsat data and I will uh, create some visualization, um, you know, parameters. Um, so using um, RGB, different band combination, band four, band three, and band two here in this case. And also I'll include the near infrared band, band five, band four, and band three of Landsat um, eight. And I'll create a, a map of the different true color composite and a false color composite here and I'll execute that
Oh, the map is, I have to execute this uh, actually. And then execute that, should be fine now. Execute that, okay. So I should have my Landsat data here. I can actually change the background um, to, you know, Google map, all right? And then here's my true color composite for the steady area here. And I can also add the false color composite using the near infrared. All right, you can see here it's loading. So I have a true color composite. Um, all right. So this is the true color composite for Ethiopia. As you can see here, this is the boundary of Ethiopia. And I have a true color composite of Landsat 8 for 2016. Um, you can see here. Um, and you can also see the false color composite using the near infrared band. Okay, so this is how you would visualize, you know, Landsat data um, and uh, subset um, a certain country using Earth Engine built-in cloud um, cloud uh, cloud clearing or cloud masking algorithm.